Hey guys, and welcome to a channel update. We haven't done one of these for a little while. I hope everybody's hanging in there. Um, we are living in unprecedented times right now. Um, times that uh, a lot of people didn't think would actually happen. It seems like a lot of this dystopia uh, that we read about and watch in our films is uh, becoming a reality. Um, interesting and worrisome times indeed however life must go on so pretty much behind the scenes it's been business as usual for me because um uh, i'm classed as a key worker so if anything my job's just got a lot busier because uh, there's been plenty to do especially now the lockdown is being eased up and there's a lot of um, cleaning and preparing for uh, the public places to be open again so it's been pretty crazy so I hope everybody is hanging in there uh, there's a couple of things I want to address uh, in this video I notice um, our sub count is growing which is cool uh, as a lot of you people know that have been subscribed for a while I don't really chase numbers I don't really care about the analytics in fact I never actually look at them like ever um, so you know uh, it, you know numbers and views and things like that they are what they are you know people are either gonna watch and enjoy the videos or they're not you know but it's nice to see things are growing and possibly we might hit a thousand subscribers one day which would be pretty crazy the thing that I would like about that is you get a lot more support from YouTube um, that will be cool so uh, if anything happens to the channel and whatnot a lot of doors get unlocked at uh, a thousand subscribers um, especially when it comes to security and help from YouTube don't get me wrong a thousand subscribers they don't they still don't give a shit you know but there are a few more doors open to you and that leads me to another weird thing that I had yesterday I went to log on and sign into my YouTube account to find out that I have been logged out on my computer. Now I'm the only one that uses my computer. Uh, maybe my missus uses it now and again or whatever, I don't know. But as far as I know, I'm the only one that uses this computer. And considering there's only two of us in the house, and I know she wouldn't, you know, log me out of my accounts and stuff, I mean she logs me out on the, the smart TV and, and, and the laptops and whatnot, fair enough. But on my computer, you know, if anything's changed I'm the one that's done it but I was logged out of YouTube and I thought okay strange but I'll log back on I need to find that my password and everything had been changed which is curious so I don't know whether I've been hacked or what but luckily I had two-step verification to actually get back into my account um, somebody did mention um, one of you guys pointed out that there's um, this count, account takeover comment going around saying will you be friends or would you like to be friends or something like that. Uh, I've seen that quite a lot, uh, especially over the last couple of weeks and I mean it stinks of bot so I never touched it anyway. And I don't delete comments ever. Whether they're um, negative comments, which I'll be honest, are very rare, or whatever, you know, if someone's going to voice their opinion in the comments section, fair enough, have at it, that's what it's there for. Uh, so even if it's something really vicious and horrible, I don't delete them, but bot comments I always delete, so I've been deleting them, but I haven't replied to one, I don't think, or anything like that, so I'm not really sure bit of a strange one gonna be keeping my eye on it let's just say that now uh, I've also bought my Dreamcast back out from the dead my Dreamcast was dead like when I moved uh, we've been in this house now seven or eight months now 
I fired it up and thought I would give give it a go, see what happens. If not, I will look at some parts that possibly need to be replaced uh, and get it running again. But lo and behold, I plugged it in and she works. She works really fucking well. I pass, don't know, no idea. But um, yeah, it's totally back to life now, which is fantastic. So, I uh, dug all the cables out for it, all for my capture gear, because I do like to record the Dreamcast through VGA, as long as the game supports it, because that's the best possible picture uh, on the Dreamcast. However, my VGA box was a little bit iffy, so uh, I treated myself to a Dreamcast HDMI um, VGA HDMI converter box which literally just clips in the back plug HDMI straight into it I watched loads of reviews on this little device there's a few of them on the market but this one in particular is really really good so I thought and they've made them I can't remember what the bloody company's called hang on uh. Kaiko, I guess. Uh, it's K-A-I-C-O. It's a Chinese company, I'm, I'm guessing. I don't really know. But they've made these adapters for a lot of machines. Original Xbox, PS2, PS1, um, and probably some others. But they're all sold out. And I don't know whether they're ever going to come back in to stock. I, I don't know. So I thought, fuck it. Whilst, whilst there's like... I think there's six left in stock. I thought I'd buy one. And I installed it. Well, I installed it. <laughs> you know, I plugged it in the back, really. Yeah. Not, really not really any magic involved. Um, kind of a bit of a letdown, really. Kind of half of me was hoping it was going to make me a cup of coffee, but sadly we're not quite at that technological level just yet. So anyway, I uh, plugged it in, uh, connected it to my capture card, which is a Elgato HD60. Not S, just HD60. And it said it cannot uh, record because um, 640 by 480, which is the resolution of VGA, is not supported by the Elgato capture card. And there's no reason for this. It even recognizes the signal coming in. It just says it's not supported. So I went through a load of stuff. Only to find out that Oh god, it just can't be can't be asked to flick the switch really to allow it to uh, record from that. Now, the only games console that really would use that, admittedly, is the Dreamcast, and only if you're playing through VGA. So I looked at loads of re like loads of ways to force it and whatnot, but you can't. Interestingly enough, with my old um, setup, uh, the VGA box that I had that then went into a VGA to HDMI converter box. It was a mess to record the Dreamcast. There's there's like there's six wires involved. Um no, four wires involved and two com yeah, six wires cuz the two power cables as well. Um yeah, it was a mess. Like the wires and cabling to record the Dreamcast actually took up more of my desk than the console itself. So this converter box is just one tiny little thing that connects it in. Luckily, I can use another converter box that converts SCART, but it's also got a HDMI in. So I can take that 640p uh, video and boost it to 720 or 1080p image to force the Elgato to see it. So, happy fucking days. Really annoying that Elgato don't support that, but there we are. Uh, there is a way around it. Yeah, the image suffers ever, ever, ever so slightly. I can notice it, but on YouTube, you probably won't. Still looks absolutely fantastic. Um, when using it on my monitor, it looks basically the same as just using a native VGA cable. Really, really cool piece of kit. On to modding as well. Now my Dreamcast is actually still alive. Uh, I've been wanting to build <laughs> a dream, a dreamcast. See what I did there? Yes, yes, yes. Very good, very good, very clever. Um, 
So, yeah, there's a couple of mods. There's a Dreamcast GD-ROM replacement board that I can get, which allows you to install your games onto a memory stick, and it runs off that, so you don't have to worry about your disk drive uh, wearing out, which is cool. Might look into that at some point. They're about 50, 60 pounds, something like that. So I was going to slap one of those bad boys in there. Second point of failure for the Dreamcast is the power supply. They are crap. I've gone through three in the last decade. The capacitors are old now and they're going bad. And they also, the Dreamcast was manufactured back in a time where poor shitty um, capacitors flooded the market. So unfortunately, as a lot of electronics, whether it's high end or not, from that era, are slowly starting to die. Now, there's a company that has produced a replacement power supply for it, which is really freaking nice. Um, it's about a quarter of the size of the one in installed, and it uh, changes the um, power connector into the Dreamcast as well. So, very easy to replace, and very modern, very efficient, doesn't generate any of the heat, yaddy yaddy yaddy. So I'm thinking about going into those avenues uh, as a little project for myself. Also, as much as I love the Dreamcast, and as much as the Dreamcast is my joint first favourite system of all time with the PlayStation 1, um, I don't like the control pad for the Dreamcast. In fact, I think it's fair to say I fucking hate the thing. I th it's shit. It was shit back in the day. It was shit a decade ago. And it's still shit today. And as you can see from me trying to play Zombies Revenge, which I have not played for a million years, um, it's awful. Even just trying to point your character at the enemy. It, oh, yeah. But there is hope. There is hope. There is a company producing um, a brand new control pad for the Dreamcast. It actually looks like a 360 controller. It's still compatible with everything. It has a really nice analog stick, apparently. I haven't tried it, but I'll believe them. And it has shoulder buttons and it has um, triggers as well. So I almost pulled the trigger on one of those bad boys. Only thing is, it's got to be imported from America, and the control pad is 50 ish dollars, which is okay. I, yeah, I mean, controllers are expensive anyway, so to support a little in indie company like this, it, it's acceptable. You know, for the amount of use I'm going to get out of it, I think, yeah, that's fair. But import charges, oh shit, yes. Uh, the import charges with almost that again. I'm not really going to pay 90 quid for a new control pad. Oh, not yet, anyway. I might eventually do it because I hate, hate the Dreamcast control pad and I want to do lots of Dreamcast games. I do. I've always wanted to do that on my channel but I've always had problems. I've always had the issue where I can't record the Dreamcast. It dies. Um, or the particular cables that I need I don't have so now everything's kind of working and blah 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 uh, so it would be nice to actually actually get it done also it's my birthday next month July the 4th and yes American Independence Day is my birthday yes a lot of people think that's strange I don't think it's strange I think it's cool but hey um, I'm hoping to get a PlayStation 3. Yeah, I know, a lot of people would find that weird, but I'm actually really excited about the idea of getting a PlayStation 3. And the reason I want it, believe it or not, is if, <laughs> so I have an easier way to record PlayStation 1 games through HDMI. Uh, and to have the image censor, uh, censored, I don't want to censor anything, uh, have it centered properly. Which would be nice because I've got PlayStation ones. I've got three of the yeah, three of yeah, three of them. Uh, two regular kind and a slim. The slim, I don't know where the power supply is gone. I haven't seen that for a decade at least. The my original, well not original, but 
one of my fat boy uh, playstations has just started to not read discs which is fantastic and this is a problem with these old consoles they fail this is why backwards compatibility is so important it is so important because guess what kids they don't make these consoles anymore so once they all died out and stopped working you're fucked this is why emulation and whatnot is so important and this is why i will champion backwards compatibility to the end of time why i think microsoft is doing a, a fantastic job and sony needs to take their foot their foot their thumb out of their ass and follow suit playstation 5 I want PlayStation 1 compatibility, PlayStation 2 compatibility, PlayStation 4 compatibility, PS3 is a challenge, I'll give them that, thanks to their arrogance, um, but there's no reason not to be compatible with the other machines. It's absolutely fucking ridiculous that it isn't, uh, the PlayStation 4 isn't, which is, it, it, it just, it, it hurts my head to think that you can't just take a PlayStation 1 disc and put it in your PlayStation 4 and play it. There's no reason for it not to. Absolutely no reason. They have a working emulator. The PSP could do it. Okay, you can really jam a disc in there, but, but, but it could play PlayStation 1 games. So could the fucking Vita. So could the PlayStation 2. So could the PlayStation 3. The fact that the PS... Oh, yeah, I'm not getting into it in this update. It's maddening. Now, also, I have another games console uh, that was given to me last year on my... Well, for an early birthday present from my friends, Wii U. And I would like to do some more Nintendo. I haven't done anything Nintendo on my channel. I don't hate Nintendo. I'm very neutral towards Nintendo. I like Mario quite a uh, quite a bit actually. <sighs> yeah. Yep. And I love I fucking love Zelda. Um didn't want to bring these games to my channel because well, Nintendo's going to Nintendo. But I don't, I don't really care about like uh, what do you call it, like content strikes and stuff like that. You know, it is what it is. Um, so maybe in time I shall bring those uh, to the the channel. Also, I'm hoping to get my Wii U modded in the next couple of days. I'm going to look into that so it can play GameCube games because I love the GameCube. Oh, the GameCube is one of my favourite consoles of all time, and Wii games as well. I don't really care about the Wii. It's got like two or three good games and the system looks cool apart from that it's a rancid piece of dog shit but there we go that's the Wii um, GameCube is a fantastic machine and the Wii U was an interesting one it's a really good console it just wasn't supported and should have come out four years prior and maybe shouldn't have had a stupid tablet as a controller and I guess some games would have helped it as well, but you know, because I, I, you know, people that buy consoles, um, yeah, I mean, generally they they like to play games on them. I think. I mean, that's just my just my thoughts anyway. You made Nintendo thought a little bit different with the Wii U, but there we go. It's neither here nor there. And uh, to close up uh, this video, I would say Resident Evil has come back. Um, we started it with Resident Evil, I was going to say Resident Evil 5, but actually that went up on Jimmy's channel. I didn't record that. I wish I did, but I didn't. Uh, we did the DLC. We have more DLC for Resident Evil 5 coming up. We will be doing Resident Evil 6 at some point when we both have time and it syncs up. Uh, Resident Evil 1 Remake <sighs> will eventually be coming back around. But uh, Resident Evil went down really well with you guys. You guys seem to really enjoy it, which is fantastic. Um, I want more Resident Evil. We're going to be replaying all of them. 
Uh, and we're going to be replaying a lot of uh, games that are on my channel that, well, let's just say I'm not happy with a lot of my old Let's Plays. In fact, I really don't like a lot of them. Uh, I'm not going to delete anything because I, I don't believe that's the way forward. I, you know, I won't ever delete a, a series or whatever because, you know, every Let's Play is is like, you know, a moment in time and it's interesting sometimes um, when I go back and I, I watch like one video from something when I'm showing someone a game and you just instantly get get that feeling of that time and, and where you were in life at that, that place and, you know... I don't want to delete any of that. Some of it's really shit memories and bad stuff, but some of it is really cool, really fun times. So yeah, I mean, and it's nice to see how far you've come as well. Uh, and it's interesting. It's going to be interesting to see how long I keep doing this for. Uh, will I be able to go back and see videos of myself 30 years prior? Wow. I mean, we're almost at a decade, a decade of doing this. It's mad. Absolutely crazy, and I've loved every minute of it. And it's been fantastic. And and now quite a few of you guys are coming along for the ride, which is even better. It's really cool. Uh, YouTube is it's just getting more and more fun. So yeah, I mean, videos aren't going to stop anytime soon, unless I you know drop dead or something. Which hey, none of us know what's going to happen tomorrow. But let's hope not, shall we? Uh. Lots of stuff planned. Dreamcast, Wii U, I guess. Remakes of games. Blue Stinger, I've been playing again. Remember that one? I know at least a few of you do. Uh, Resident Evil games that we haven't even covered yet. Oh yeah, there's a couple. Not many, but there's a couple that we will uh, be adding to this channel at some point. I'm still having a problem with streaming. I don't know where the problem's coming from. Uh, I I can't imagine it's my computer. I spent a good chunk of money beginning of this year completely upgrading my computer sans the graphics card. It's a bit of an animal. It should be able to stream and record in its sleep. It's massively, massively faster than my last computer, and my last computer did it fine. So I don't know what's going on with that. Um, it could be related to my less than perfect internet, I guess, which means streaming is off the cards, at least for now. We might experiment a little bit later. The only problem is it doesn't really like recording PC games either. And I've been all over forums. I've looked at so much stuff and everybody says yep the CPU you've got which is the AMD Ryzen 3700X yep should record and stream in its sleep whilst playing games blah 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 well I don't know what I'm doing wrong because no matter what program I use it suffers okay I mean the videos are okay they're watchable but they're not as smooth as they should be. So that's something that is going to be an ongoing investigation. I don't know if there's a driver somewhere. I don't know. I don't have space for a secondary recording PC. Um, I don't have the money to buy a secondary recording PC. Well, I, I probably do have the space for one. I, oh, yeah, I do. For sure, actually, if I jigger some things around, but yeah, I'm not spending out on a, a recording PC uh, unless I absolutely have to. And if I have to, then it won't be something that's done anytime soon. But we shall we will have a look at that. Uh, I have picked up the Command and Conquer Remastered uh, Edition, which is absolutely fantastic. So we will also be revisiting that, and I want to bring some RPGs my channel as well um, there's one in particular on a little white console that I love and I haven't played for ages and it's not compatible with VGA god damn it well not in this country anyway uh, but yes so uh, I do want to start doing some of that but what do you guys think about the longer games 
Um, longer games don't seem to um, get the views of, of, of the other games, which is fine. I, you know, I still do them because I, I do them because I enjoy them. But I'm just curious if there's uh, is it something in particular you you just looking for the horror games which is fine you know let me know let me know what you would like to see because um we can make it happen one of my friends requested me to redo uh desert strike recently uh, and that was loads of fun i really enjoyed going back through that um hmm. if we have the power to play it then we will play it so this quick couple of minute update video has now gone on for nearly half an hour but then we haven't done one for ages so I'm going to leave it there for now and I just want to say thank you for the continued support the support has been absolutely crazy it's really cool um, not very active on social media anymore these days I just I, I just I have no interest in social media but we do have a discord channel which is very active. I say very active. No, it is. It is pretty active. We're always in there chatting away most days. Um, that is linked in the description. Please join if you wish to do so. Uh, it's fun. And we talk shit about everything. Resident Evil, mainly. <laughs> but it's there if you guys want to join it. Uh, throw in your, your two bucks. For everything else, there's the comment section down below as always feel free to use it i love reading comments sometimes it takes me a while to get back to the comments because depending on what i'm doing work wise yada 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 but i do love uh interacting that's why i like that's one of the best parts of this and that's why i really wanted to give the streaming a go because i love the interaction it's nice to chat it's nice to meet some like some of you people and and whatnot but yes hmm yes anyway so that is where we are right now so thank you very much for the support over the years guys it has been great this has been one hell of a ride i've enjoyed every minute of it and uh way more to come so thanks for watching guys and as always till next time